What's up guys, Miss Wednesday here, back at it with another video. So, a uh, clan mate of mine, who I actually really really quickly want to shout out here, actually pulled with Whittier, Whittier, the crown, um, over here uh, today from the Sacred Shard, and he actually maxed her out straight away. Um, he believes she'll be top tier, and I definitely agree with that. So, um, she definitely has a lot of uh, different places you can use her at with leech on a1 which is amazing also placing continue heal continuous heal uh, on a random ally obviously great for faction wars it can be useful for doom tower but what i think she'll be great at is arena as well now feel no pain places increased defense on all allies for two turns also increases the duration of all continuous heals uh, by one turn and then instantly activates them on all allies uh, now she's not booked here i'd want to say that also removes all debuffs from all allies then heals all allies by 30 percent of their of uh, these champions max hp which i love hearing i love when it says these champions max hp so it's not theirs it's not a set amount it's her hp so you can just build her really really tanky if you want her to be like a nice tank three turn cooldown on this not a lot of books which i love seeing basically um eight books is crazy for like um today ch to the, <laughs> the champions of today because we have gotten some crazy champions who really like li love reading and then when i see somebody who like needs just eight books and like if you get lucky you do not even need to book the a1 you could basically get away with like just four books and then she also places continuous heal um on an ally with the lowest hp for one turn on the start of each turn so definitely some viability for like a relentless set if you're maybe like struggling with demon spawn faction which we all know can be rather difficult and then she actually has a really nice aura i wish it was higher but given that she's not a void legendary i do understand having just under quotation marks 50. now i'm gonna go over the masteries really quickly i'm gonna actually buy them and slap them onto here really quick i just want to say i do advise for arena again just building her in two different ways either in an immunity type of build in which case i advise going for hp and hp on the gloves and chest uh, speed on boots and then just as much speed and hp as you can find on the upper three pieces again hp on the ring and on the amulet and then finally um whatever gives you most speed when it comes to the banner if it can be hp lovely if not that's okay as well now um for the purposes of today's video and because i do not really want to like waste all of his silver um let me just really quickly see how much silver he has oh so just about like 130 million so yeah i do not want to waste his silver um, i'm just gonna really quickly um build her in a resistance build and then we're gonna shove her off in arena i'll come back to you the second i'm done okay and uh, after a little bit of uh, rebuilding here we're back so we have our we tiered the crown here um i went for hp on the gloves with resistance on the chest piece speed over here obviously and then just as much speed resistance which wish this was like hp percent defense percent whatever um well actually it's a weapon so hp percent um sadly we just i just couldn't find a piece like that that also fits the set because i did want resistance there then a lovely amount of resistance here again wish we had some hp defense percent here too and then over here i'm actually really happy with the substats we have gotten wish this just went elsewhere when it rolled sadly didn't it's not um glyph as well so still a lot of room for improvement we have a five star here which had the most resistance i could find i really tried finding more um reaction gear as well because i do advise going for reaction in a go second team as obviously this sadly rolled attack percent here on the plus 12 and plus 16 which was just truly really, um unsatisfying to see but it, it's okay it will still work out nicely and i definitely advise going for a reaction piece even it even 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 if it rolls like this and then we do have resistance over here with hp and defense percent 
um this defense here was um flat stat but th that's okay i wish we gotten away with like double speed rolls here but that's okay so the final stats we're looking at at uh, 65k hp 2.7k defense 274 speed um almost 600 resistance and then when we get to mass trees this is the, this these are the two trees i went for um just to get more resistance while also providing a bit of uh, damage reduction and then a chance to actually go quicker if perhaps cycler of revenge procs if you are not sure why i'm saying that please do go um watch my uh, master class videos uh, regarding the the uh masteries i'm gonna really quickly jump into the arena here we are not crazily high in um, gold 4 still i want to see what we can do i actually want to first and mainly see what can we do against let's say a torment team so perhaps like this no actually um madame could have stayed in so we do want with deer there where is our trusty madame um let's see what happens so uh, we go first, we'll get frozen here perhaps, yes we will, uh, then she comes in, she removes all debuffs, she also heals us a bit, then we can get our turn on going, and boom bam, thank you. Okay, for some reason, <laughs> Razin just decided, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna survive just a tad bit more. Can we? It is just now about the time when we get him actually dead. It's it's bound to happen. Okay. Um. Let me find if we perhaps have a. Hmm. I really wanna like showcase her nicely here. So I'm trying to find like the best possible opponent teams we can find. Uh. Let's check out another tournament team. So we go first again. I actually want to see what she uses on auto here. Okay, so she's going to be stupid, which is lovely to see. That's okay. Uh, that's why we're here. We do want to test her on auto and see what she can do. So she does, doesn't does um, use her cleanse first. So I do advise, obviously, changing that in the... Okay, so Rotus is going to get a turn here. Um, I do advise changing that, obviously, in the presets uh, when you can um because she does use her increased defense first which is okay oh she actually hits kind of i'm not gonna say like hard but i did not expect 12k there on brothers we're probably gonna lose this one it's okay i'm not gonna waste our time anymore i'm gonna come back and actually win um let me just get to that team again so um definitely you need to preset her to use her cleanse first if you do want to be going for the cleanse first, obviously. So, um, cleanse should be here. A really nice cleanse as well. I love the fact she... Um, can we not get true feared here, perhaps? Let's see. Oh, we're going to get frozen. Lovely. We're obviously not speed-tuned with Alessandra. That's okay. Should have perhaps brought in a Chimer or somebody like that. Just truly really want to see how her um, AI works without any manipulations. Okay, so we are going to be losing here again. Okay, so I spent some time searching for a hedgy team that could be somewhat good. So I believe something like this would be really nice. Um, he should work here. I mean, he's fully maxed, so it really truly depends on how he is built. So I guess we'll see soon enough. Let me just actually go back to our Arbiter here. So we're not going to be starting another one. Um, let's see if he's... Uh, okay, so here's kind of nuke, kind of not. So we actually get to use this here. Uh, she will cut in. Does she us no she doesn't but we do have this true fear which is not insane so i do definitely advise going for um 
a very very nicely tuned comp when it comes to her given that she does not place block debuffs which is definitely not ideal uh, because you will be having problems like this where tr right now Tranda is actually uh, losing out on the actually the actual chances to go because we did get frozen there um, so I still think she's truly amazing her kills are awesome and she definitely does the job she needs to do let me try and see if I can find so 159 is gonna be too slow can I just please find like a good ah, let's go with Necrit sure why not let's see what happens here so we should definitely be slower I hope we are he just does not have like an insane amount of accuracy on him or it was just really unlucky well either way around Mm, let me just find like two three more teams and then let me actually try and not use necrot here because i do not want to use like crazy broken champions i don't want to show her off in a as 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 friendly way as possible so perhaps lady kimmy let's see let's see if not um okay so what kind okay so it's not a nuke hedgy, it's not a... Or he was just really unlucky with this ground control. Huh. Yeah, let's go with this. Okay, so we get turn. And Razen stays alive, because of course the weak affinity. Can we find some more teams? Okay, another hedgy team. Now they are starting to appear, so they are definitely going to be faster. If they're not, it's weird. Again. Okay, so... Okay, lovely. Finally, a full, full clo lockdown. Okay, so they're not speed tuned here. So let's see what happens. Can we get a turn? Yes, we can. So I actually used the wrong skill in the battle before this one. Um, she will get turn, she will not kill us, she will get her unkillable, she's also stunned, so that's okay, so we just need to wait for the stun to wear off. I'm gonna just leave it full out of here, no, actually I do not, yeah, anyway, okay, lovely. But I do truly think she's amazing, let me try and, f let me just find her here really quickly, just to show her off for the end. So first of all, the kit, um, is insane. Her looks are also amazing, like with the hands in the back here. That's really a nice touch. Um, she's like she has like this sword going through her, like a dagger. Um, the flame up here, and then everything else truly looks insanely nice. And then what's this on her legs? Some dungeon things. Okay, our girl Wither is into some really weird stuff. Um, anyway. Uh, just again, a big shout out to um, Yangan who allowed me to hop onto his account. Uh, the champion is truly amazing. I really enjoyed using her. I do believe she'll be a great carry for like a lot of things in the game. If you like cannot pass perhaps like something in the dungeons and you get her really early. Or maybe you just cannot get past through some Doom Tower stages. She should be great there as well. You do not need to build her with such crazy high resistance as I did here. I did that just for like the arena testing purposes. You can definitely build her with um, way lower resistance, and then actually give her um, enough accuracy to be able to be able to also um, land the AOE which she has here, um, leech, uh, which would just allow you to like heal more. So again, just a truly terrific champion if you ask me, and I am really looking forward to perhaps getting her on my account at some point. Without further ado, I'm gonna call the video here. Thank you all for stopping by. And until the next video, Mr. Wednesday, signing out.